Hey guys, a few people have asked for a voiceover and an explanation of what I'm doing in this video, so here it is. So this is actually an old helmet that I had and I thought I'd paint it. So the first thing I like to do is take off the visor and unscrew those side bits that hold the visor on. And now I'm just masking up the rubber area and the face where the, um, where the visor used to be and I'm masking up the little air vent at the front of the helmet. This is just normal masking tape, so I'm going over all the bits I don't want to paint. Now I'm sanding it with a 3M fine sanding sponge, and that's going to make it so my paint sticks. I didn't actually show it in the video, but I sprayed adhesion promoter on the helmet before I did this silver. So I've mixed up this silver 50-50 with base coat reducer, and I'm spraying the silver over the helmet. Another thing you don't see in the video is I got a spider webbing from this base coat. The coating on the helmet just reacted with the paint. So yeah, I had to fix that before I went on to this next step. Now you can probably see on the table there is a, uh, a spray gun. That's actually a dry flake gun which throws a uh, flake onto the job without putting it into any, any binder. But that gun actually failed and threw flake everywhere. It went all over the table, all over the floor, almost everywhere except on the helmet. So I've gone back to the uh, spray gun method. So what I did is just put some of the flake into the 2K clear coat and sprayed about three coats on the helmet to give me my flaky flaky goodness. I used a 2 mil spray gun so that the flake wouldn't get clogged up and once that was done I left it overnight to dry. Once it was dry I rubbed it back with 800 grit wet sandpaper and a block and this just leveled out the flake because it ends up quite rough. Now I'm adding some candy concentrate to a clear base coat. Uh, mix it 10% in the base coat and then mix 50-50 with thinners and then I'm using my Segola mini extreme spray gun and basically just spraying the yellow candy over the uh, silver flaked clear coat that's been sanded. I sprayed about three coats of the candy and I let it dry for about 40 minutes and then I um, stuck these stickers on there. These are just normal vinyl cut stickers. I've actually got a machine that cuts the shapes so I put the image into the computer and that cuts the shape on these uh, vinyl uh, stickers and I'm just sticking them on and basically um, that's giving me the graphic. A lot of people ask what kind of tape that I use to mask up and this is a uh, stylus fine line tape. It's basically vinyl tape and it's 3 mil wide. I'm also using some 12 mil fine line tape to get the distance of this uh, line that I'm masking up to be even. So yeah that's just a little trick otherwise I do it by eye. This um, front bit, I'm just kind of uh, just making up these shapes, just something that I think looks cool. And I cut some more stickers. This is actually the Chinese symbol for snake. So I just thought something different, I'd put it on the front and use it as a mask. Now I'm just using normal masking tape to mask up all my um, areas that I don't want paint to get onto. And I'm just giving another clean with wax and grease remover because I've touched it with my hands and I just I, I want to make sure I have a nice clean surface to spray my base coat on. Now I'm spraying the red over the, uh, over the writing. I wanted the writing to be red like the original symbol. And um, so I've sprayed that and I left it for about 30 minutes. And then I put some tape over the red because I want that to stay red. And then once I do that, I'll be able to spray my next color on top. So yeah, I made up a black pearl. It's just black with some silver pearl in it. And I'm spraying that over everything, uh, giving it about two to three coats with my mini spray gun. So now I've left it for about 15 minutes and now I'm starting to unmask everything. This is the really tricky bit. I'm using a razor blade. Normally I use a scalpel type knife, but I actually lost it. So I'm using a razor blade and basically got to try and get that vinyl mask off without damaging the paint surface. Now normally I would have clear coated over the candy um, before I put these stickers on, but the way that I did the flake, I just I couldn't clear coat over the candy. It would have just taken way too long. So um, I've got to be really careful and make sure I don't damage that uh, candy base coat because once that's damaged, then you know you kind of have to spray a little bit more. It probably took me about 
two hours to unmask this. There's so many little bits of uh, vinyl on there, but um, you know, the more kind of masking, the more different shapes you have, the better a helmet looks. So yeah, as you can see, it's sped up quite a bit, but in real life, yeah, it took me quite a while. So as you can imagine, when you unmask this, I now have two different levels of paint. So I've got the candy and then I've got the black. So it's created a little bit of an edge. Uh, I'm just going to clear coat over this because it's not that bad, but you could let the clear dry, sand it, and then re-clear it. But I didn't do that, so you can't really notice it. It's not that bad. So the base coat dries with a flat finish, and uh, this kind of section goes for so long because I actually really like the way it looks with a flat finish. Um, I could have just put it back together and left it like that, but it wouldn't have been as durable. Now I'm mixing up my 2K clear. This clear is four to one, so four parts clear, one part hardener. And this clear dries really fast. In about 20 minutes, it's touch dry. So I sprayed two coats over everything, waiting about 10 minutes between coats. I'm using my Devilbus GTI Pro Light gravity spray gun. It's a 1.3 mil nozzle. And um, yeah, it's at about 34 PSI, probably a bit less, 32 PSI. And um, yeah, I find that gives me a really good finish. And there's a little dance there. So the helmet is all dry and uh, as you can see there's a little bit of a red line under the gold. I added that there, that's just a red pinstriping. I just thought it needed something a bit extra. So yeah, that's just a bit of pinstriping. And um, another thing that you don't really see is me unmasking the helmet. Um, the bottom rubber that I originally masked up was damaged so I completely ripped it off and I put some um, special tape around that edge. But other than that, the helmet looks pretty awesome and um, I love it. A lot of people ask about the Australian Standard Safety Sticker. I just masked it up with my paint and then unmasked it and clear coated over it. So yeah, that's that. Um, again, thanks for watching guys. Thanks heaps for watching these videos. I've been trying to get something out every week and uh, I hope that the quality is good enough for doing something every week. I really do enjoy making these videos but to do the job like spray something and then also worry about filming it it's um it's a massive effort so yeah to get a quality video out is quite hard and um yeah i really appreciate it when you guys watch and comment and share it so thanks again hope you guys enjoyed the video and the the, the voiceover so talk to you next time see ya